Well, we've got some good news for you. Could you use some good news? We got some good news for you. Welcome to Reason and Company. I'm Tim Wildman with Fred Jackson. Fred, what's the good news? The good news is that the body that represents most small colleges across right. the country, they have made a decision. Are you ready for this? That only women can participate in women's sports. <gasps> Oh, man. What a shock. Transphobes. <laughs> I tell you, what's I think... What's wrong with these people? I know. Tim, what's going on? The American people are very patient. Yeah. But I think they have had enough of this. Right. And they are saying, you know, we don't want this anymore. We want to keep girl sports. We want to keep female sports, female sports. Yeah. We don't want guys on the court right. beating up on our daughters. Right. That's what a guy is exactly. up to. Exactly. It's it's just it's something so obvious to the whole world. I think that's why the NAIA, as you say, there's the NCAA, and that's your most, uh, like your Division One schools, uh, mm -hmm. your, your larger schools. I don't know if they've spoken on this yet, but the NAIA, that's more schools because that's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of schools across America. And they made the announcement, hey, in our division, our college athletics, Boys will be boys, girls will be girls, and we're keeping it that way. Yes, and uh, good for them. Yes, because in this in this era, and the vote was unanimous among yes. the uh, twenty to zip, twenty to zip. Yeah, so that's good news. It's great news actually because this is insane, and I think most uh, the vast majority of Americans, Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, we all know that boys should not be competing against girls in athletics. Mm -hmm. We have separate categories for a reason. We've always had it that way. Well, it's good news. Fred, you're going to be reporting on that? Absolutely. Okay. American Family News, check it out. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Reason & Company.